Uh, hey there, Joe. It's Decoy here. I'm just wondering, uh, what's some of the favorite uh, artists you've come across uh, from skate videos? Thanks. Hey, Decoy. Uh, very good question. I mean, back in the 90s, I feel like half of the music or more that I learned about was through 411 Video Magazine. So, like, all of those... All of the songs and all the bands that I learned about when I was younger, I think, yeah, like so much of it came from skate videos. So like I think about those days and like, you know, the band Destroyer I heard about for the first time on a 411 video. I think it was to Rick McCrank's part and I ended up playing in that band. So that was a huge one. But then like the big ones, the ones that really sort of rocked me was like hearing freestyle fellowship for the first time and far side and hieroglyphics oh my god like that was massive and then i think seeing promise ring or hearing promise ring for the first time also kind of was a major one in terms of like getting me into emo when i was in high school uh but yeah like i think the biggest ones were more rap groups for me i think that they really sort of introduced me to a world of music that like i wasn't listening to otherwise and yeah i loved it like freestyle fellowship especially was just i mean it rocked my world uh i hope that helps you just have this way of creating these very raw moments in a lot of your songs so um, I was curious to know if you have any influences in that realm, and if so, uh, who they are and why. Um, so to answer the question about whether I have influences in the realm of cinema, uh, first, thank you so much for such a thoughtful question. And I'm glad my music makes you feel that way. It's really nice. And, um, you know... <sighs> I wouldn't say that I do have any overt influences in film or cinema, but I a lot of my living is made through scoring, and I worked in advertising before that, which is a pretty vapid industry, but you know, you're working with picture a lot, and I think what working in those industries has sort of made me acutely aware of is sort of, you know... Um, just the emotional impact of music and like how important it is. And I think when I try to write my music that I do write, I think I'm trying to approach all of it from sort of an emotional place where it's like, is it making me feel good? Is it making me feel tense? Is it making me feel nervous or introspective or whatever? And I think no matter what I do, I really do try to approach it from a, um, a place of emotion. So, I think scoring has really um, helped sort of hone that skill. So while I don't necessarily have a specific movie in mind that I could say really has influenced my music or what I write, I think in a broad sense, writing to picture in the cinema and all of that has had a pretty profound effect on the way I approach music and especially from like approaching it from a place of emotion if that makes sense okay yo jojo karen levin here out in beautiful oakland california i'm wondering what's your favorite license plate it's the best plate you've seen you've seen a lot of plates i want to know what the best one you've seen is bye so this is my answer to the license plate question um my favorite one I got it. It's a two. It's a two-part answer because I can't pick just one. Uh, the favorite one I've ever found out in the wild is this one that felt really serendipitous, and the license plate was Irie Mom. <laughs> but it felt really serendipitous because at the time I'd been making a lot of jokes with my friends about uh, <laughs> this character we we. Uh, made up called Barb Marley. And she's sort of like this mom from Rochester, New York, like Barb Marley. And, you know, she tries to be really mellow and funky and cool, but is kind of a bit of a Karen. So 
you know, we've been riffing on Barb Marley for a long time. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I saw Irie Mom out in the wild and I just lost it. So that's probably my favorite IRL license plate, but my favorite near and dear to my heart license plate is my own vanity plate that my friends got me for my birthday. And like after years of making fun of vanity plates, um, online, they basically said we had a bonfire down by the lake and they said, we got you a vanity plate and you gotta, you gotta get it. And they got me Saxdad, S-A-X-D-A-D. And I have it. I love it. People point at me. People take my picture. People tag, like people have sent it to me on Instagram, basically being like, my friend posted this and the captions are always like, look at this fucking clown or whatever. Uh, so it's great. You know, it's going to embarrass my kids. I love it. That's, uh, that's my answer. Hey Joe, I'm a fan of your song escape from North York. And, uh, the title got me thinking about John Carpenter movies. And I wondered what your favorite John Carpenter movie is. Okay, so my favorite John Carpenter movie, I think for sure, has to be They Live. That one just, <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. That, like, three-minute fight scene with no music, I mean, it just, it blew my mind when I saw it. And the whole video is, the whole movie is just, it's perfect. Like, the perfect amount of kitsch, the perfect amount of action, the perfect amount of humor. Um... So yeah, I mean, I could watch you. They live any day of the week and be very, very happy. So for sure, fave John Carpenter is they live. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>